Now that we have um, our, our understanding of dimensions down, I'm going to talk briefly about something called dimensional analysis um, uh, and uh, and unit conversion in this uh, in this um, in this lecture. The, f the first one, dimensional analysis, is a really useful way of actually uh, a making sure your answers are right. Um, but also uh, using, f uh, you can actually use dimensional analysis as a way to kind of lead your way towards uh, correct answers. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and show that right now. So let's look at a, a pretty famous uh, physics equation. Um, all right, uh, made famous by Einstein. Um, e equals mc squared. Uh, e is uh, energy in this equation. M is mass, and C squared is just the speed of light squared. So let's just look at uh, the dimensions of this. First of all, this is mass, so mass as units of kilograms, right? And this is the speed of light And generally, in uh, in SI units, speed is done in units of meters per second. Um, and so, to find out what the units of energy is, we can actually very straightforward just pretend like we're putting the equation in, but instead of putting the actual mc squared in, we're going to put the units in. So we're going to say energy, or the units of energy, units of energy is equal to kilograms times meter per second squared. Or if we go ahead and multiply that out, it's kilogram meter squared per second squared, um, which it turns out are actually units of energy. Um, and it turns out we actually give a name to this unit, which is a joule. Um, and so you can see very quickly we've discovered uh, the unit of energy. It's these kilograms meter squared per second squared. Um, and it gives us some idea of any time we see something that has units of kilogram meter squared per second squared, that is an energy uh, unit. Um, and it, it's funny, we actually, uh, it, when, when you get to be a physicist, you, um, a professor in, in particular, you end up getting uh, lots of people who claim that they have, uh, they just send you random emails and they claim to have, uh, found a new um, a, a new equation for you know Einstein is wrong and they found a new equation for for energy and they you know one of the one of the ones people really like to send is oh you know it's not um, it's not e equals m c squared it's e equals m c um, he he got the squared wrong and the the funny thing is is that uh, this is so incredibly wrong because ignoring all physics and everything like this. Um, the equation E equals mc can never be an equation for energy because uh, the units are kilograms and this is meter per second and a kilogram meter per second is not a unit of energy, it's actually a, a unit of momentum. And so uh, this just goes to show you that if actually they would just uh, know a little bit about dimensional analysis they could um, save all of us the trouble of having to read those emails. Um, this is also a useful uh, tool in that uh, you can often do something, uh, find out, again, a relationship pretty straightforwardly uh, just by looking at the units. So units are for force, for instance, um, uh, the units of force are equal to a kilogram meter per second squared. Okay, um, You notice that's different from the units of energy and that this is a kilogram meter per second squared, all right? And uh, the energy units over here are a kilogram meter, per s meter squared per second squared. So one thing you could ask is, well, how do I get from a, a relationship between force and energy? Well, if you look carefully, you might be able to guess this. Um, we need another meter in there to make it a kilogram meter squared per second squared. So you may just guess that we need that we need a another meter here. So we can multiply by a meter here, and you'd be right. So it turns out that um, one way of getting energy, uh, the way to make a connection between energy, is force times distance. 
All right, where force is a kilogram meter per second squared and distance is a meter, which gives us units of energy. And we'll go over that more in later in the class, but this goes to show you that you actually don't need to know any of the physics to be able to get a rough equation that tells us what the rough relationship is between, uh, between energy and force. Um, so that's a really useful thing to do with dimensional analysis. Um, you can also uh, use this to check your answers. Um, if you ever get an answer like E equals MC, uh, or you get an answer for force, that isn't a kilogram, oh, I forgot my G, a kilogram meter per second squared, uh, then you don't have the right answer. Um, there's, there's no way that you've had the right answer. And that's why often when I do problems, I'm always going to carry my units with me um, and do an, an analysis right at the end to make sure that I've gotten the right units uh, because it's a really good way to check to see whether you've actually done the problem correctly.